three, two, one, zero. We're sending a kidney on, on a trip into space. And liftoff. If you were to ask me a few years ago, would I be involved in something with the International Space Station or NASA? I'd say no, but I would love the opportunity to. When it's time for the launch, we'll be heading down to Cape Canaveral. Our entire team will be incredibly excited and nervous. What we're trying to understand is how does microgravity affect the kidney? <laughs> Various different things happen to our bodies in microgravity that we don't really understand. Astronauts often get kidney problems from being in space. Kidney stones, edema. One of the ones that we're focusing on is osteoporosis. What a lot of people don't know is that our kidneys actually make the active form of vitamin D. And vitamin D is a key vitamin which actually regulates bone health. And what happens in microgravity is that you can lose up to 1% of your bone mass per month. And our goal is to learn more both to improve astronaut health, but also to learn lessons that hopefully can improve human health and kidney health on Earth as well. Kidney on a chip, how does it work? And so what it essentially is, is a, a tubule with human kidney cells that we get actually from the UW Medical Center. And so we actually pass fluids that are equivalent of filtrate through there, and then look at what actually happens when we perturb that environment by putting in various drugs or toxins. The types of things we're trying to test using our kidney on a chip would be far too invasive to do on astronauts. Organs on a chip are really an innovation in how we can study human diseases without the need necessarily for animal models and yet not subject human beings to our experiments but only cells to our experiments. When we started this project I would have to say we were a little bit naive as to the challenges of doing scientific experiments on the International Space Station. Instead of 48 cubic feet the astronauts will have to be working in one cubic feet of space so we had to completely re-engineer and redesign the whole way that we can do experiments. We really have one shot at getting this right on the International Space Station. There are roughly in the United States 30 to 40 million people who have some degree of kidney disease, over 10% of the adult population. So we desperately need new therapies to prevent or to cure kidney diseases. Understanding how our kidney on a chip can predict what happens in our kidneys is something which is very powerful.